Cities across Colorado have found some success dispatching mental health clinicians alongside police officers on some calls. A school district thinks that the same approach might make kids safer. Our Mark Salinger shows us a new co-responder program in northern Colorado. Answers to tough questions often come with new ideas. Solutions to difficult problems are hard to find. Inside Riverview School in Johnstown, Marianne Ramos Flynn is part of something different. We aren't writing tickets. We're not taking students to jail. We are getting them connected with services on the spot. Marianne is a clinical social worker. Yeah. She's one half of the Thompson School District's new co-responder program. And I don't want to be responsible. I'm not trained to be responsible for someone's physical safety. He is. Larimer County Deputy Brendan Solano is the other half. It's like I can't provide a kid with therapy. School resource officers with a badge and a gun aren't always the best equipped to respond to every call inside a school. Clinicians are now helping. When people say a, a cop's been called out on them, it's usually for a crime. And usually the first thing that we said is you got extra support called out to you because someone really cares for you. In less than six months since the program started, the duo has responded to nearly 150 calls involving students in crisis or with mental health needs. Definitely wish I could clone myself every single day. Calls. <laughs> Counselors like Lacey Smith and Assistant Principal Laurel Searing can't always help with. So when the bell rings at the end of the day and we leave, there's only so far that the school can reach. The co-responder team has the power to put people in mental health holds and refer students to therapy. Lacey can't do that, even if she knows a student needs it. And I have to put the caveat in there, like, as a school district employee, I cannot recommend or suggest this to you, you know, even though I'm, like, highly encouraging it. My job is always to divert students from hospitals or from receiving a legal charge, and people need to trust that I can do that. Help now comes quick with a potential solution to one of our most pressing problems. I don't know if we can say that our program can or can't prevent anything from happening. And all I know is what our program is doing now, which is just connecting students with resources and providing on on site crisis support. The most important thing the administrators of this pre K through eighth grade school found is that the program is proactive instead of a school resource officer responding when something is wrong. The deputy and clinician are involved in kids daily lives, even checking up with them outside of school sometimes at their homes. The goal is to get them treatment before it becomes a larger problem. I know one of the other concerns that's been out there about SROs is that kids might be identified as potentially like snitching on a classmate if they're seen talking with an SRO all the time. Yeah, the principal or the vice principal there told me that sometimes kids will just look at police officers and say, oh, that kid's in trouble because they're talking to him. This is changing that because the clinician there and now kids are saying, well, they're getting the help they need. Hmm. Interesting. Mark, thank you.